responsible for it. The, the, people, the people who are chuckling are the ones who have had to take those votes. Um, and, and so a lot of people thought they could do that. And they always assumed that there would be some group of people that would do the responsible thing, even though it was difficult. And they were just happy that they didn't have to be one of them. Well, that's not the way it works, all right? It's a representative democracy. And if thousands of people call the people's house, the most representative body in the country, and yell at us, however incoherently, and some were very helpful, but some were, and I didn't mean that quite the way it came out, some just called it, this is bad, this is wrong, and they're right, okay, about the problem, but what we do about it was what was missing. So if we're actually going to step up and do something about this, we need some of those people to take responsibility. You know, I've been telling people this week that if, if I was God for just this and had one power, I would take all of the human race and strip from them all of their preconceived ideologies. I'd leave the facts, I'd leave the information, but I'd take out the notion that you're a Democrat or a Republican or a conservative or a liberal, and therefore everything that happens only sort of certifies every belief you've ever had before. Yeah, that seems to be the way we do things, whereas I think it'd be far better to learn from the information that we get and not instantly take it and plug it into some preconceived argument. Um, because when you do that, you become stupid. Bottom line. Um, stupid collectively as a society and stupid individually because you're not being pragmatic. You're not learning from experience and making decisions based on that experience. And we've had a lot of people in the last two weeks who have simply used this as an excuse to say, I was right, and then come sort of backfill the argument to prove why they were. Not helpful at the moment. And that is, is bipartisan. We have a big problem, we need to be smart about how to fix it. And this is step one, by the way. Step one is stopping the whole thing from crashing down. Step two is to learn how we got there and start to be a little bit more responsible in the way we run our economy and the way we run our government. And, you know, stripped of a lot of different details, how we got here is we borrowed, borrowed, spent, spent, spent. You know, I voted against the stimulus package that came up earlier this year. And it wasn't that I didn't think it would help. It would help. You take $150 billion and spread it around the economy, it's going to help. You know, no question about it, always will. But the question is, for how long? And if you are that overextended, when are you ever going to be back on solid footing? You know, if you can't have all of this, this borrowing and spending and hoping that that's going to prop us up, there has to be something solid, a solid infrastructure, dependable jobs, a dependable economy that can pay their bills today that aren't simply borrowing money to try to prop things up in the short term. Because eventually, the long term comes and you've got nothing left. And I think we need to be smart about that. I also think um, that getting credit a little bit more difficult to get is a good thing. My, my fear is we're swinging from the crazy days of, you know, you want to earn it now? Yeah, here, here you go, no problem. To not being able to get it at all. Basically trying to turn this into a softer hard landing instead of a harsh, harsh, harsh hard landing. But once we do this, we've got to be smarter about it. And the federal government has a fair amount of responsibility here, too. Um, we put our stamp on Fannie and Freddie. Um, that created the illusion for people that Fannie and Freddie was a risk-free investment because the government was backing it, and then pushed Fannie and Freddie to do a lot of subprime loans. Um, and then the free market sort of took that and ran with it, and that, I think, is what got us here. So ideologically, whether you're a free market capitalist or a socialist or government, wherever, you can pick any one piece of that and say, see, I was right. But collectively, it is a more complicated picture that I hope we will consider once we get through this mess, to start budgeting in a more responsible way as a government and to start building for the long term instead of the short term. So those are the two steps. Final thing I'll say before I take your questions, 